Hi, how are you? Yeah, good, thank you. Good. Well, congratulations for a super fun film. Uh, what drew you to this project? Uh, well, yeah, of course I produced um, Nomeo and Juliet, um, so when we were producing that movie, we always thought, well, the, the core idea of taking the most ridiculous characters ever produced, garden gnomes, and giving them the biggest stories in the world seemed to kind of work. So, you know, we did a bit of Shakespeare, uh, and this time we thought, okay, what can we do with Romeo and Juliet this time and put them into a completely different story and adventure? We thought, well, what's very different? Let's do an action movie, like an action detective movie. And then, of course, Sherlock Gnomes kind of evolved from that and go, okay, we've done romance, let's do action. That's the idea. Cool. And uh, what is the story about, essentially? The story is about... Um, the, the, the theme of the story is about respecting people um, you work with or friends with or in a relationship with. That's the theme of the story. The plot of the story is about uh, kind of an evil monster who wants to destroy all the gnomes in London. So, you know, that's a slightly different story. Oh, yeah. And so you got a fantastic cast and also you got Alton John involved who brought some new songs in. Well, uh, I work with Alton quite a bit and, um, you know, we, we like to uh, switch things up in the different projects. So he was very keen after Romeo and Juliet to do this next movie, to write some new original songs um, and to, uh, you know, to kind of produce the same kind of music philosophy we did for the first movie, but with a few changes. So that's why we bring in Mary J. Blige, you know, and kind of gave some of the songs a different kind of feel. Um, but I think Elton's proud of the movie, and it's great to have him on board. Thank you very much. Enjoy your day. Okay, thank you. Thank you.